NHL trade deadlines come and gone. Those who are buyers have the hype. Those who are sellers have new hope. Edmonton and Toronto is one of our early telecasts. That's Pascal, a wonderful job. Our five finalists, Kraft Hockeyville 2009. David Adams Richard said, when are we truly Canadian when we drop the puck? But the fact is, we get a lot of people involved before we ever have the chance to drop that puck. Lots of people voted. Let's uh, unveil in ascending order the top five for Kraft Hockeyville 2009. In number five, Tedford Mines, Quebec, with 740,000. Round that off. Harbor Grace, Newfoundland, in fourth position with 754. In third place this year. Oh, I'm so sorry for the Snyders. Elmira and Woolwich did a great job, but over a million votes, so a great turnout there. We'll make it up to you, Elmira. We'll come up to the CT and do a fundraiser. So, it's Humboldt, Saskatchewan, and Terrace, British Columbia. The title is heading west. See the excitement in those two centers. Without further ado, to the Big Apple and the commissioner of the NHL, here's Gary Bettman. Thanks, Ronnie. Tonight, I am pleased to announce the winning community for Kraft Hockeyville, 2009. There were over 7,100 entries this year and millions who voted across Canada to select the top five and this year's winner. The winning community will once again receive $100,000 in arena upgrades from Kraft as well as host an NHL exhibition game this fall. On behalf of the NHL, congratulations to everyone who participated from coast to coast. This year's winning community for Kraft Hockeyville is Terrace, British Columbia. Congratulations. Everybody else was tipped, and why wouldn't you be? But Humboldt, you did a great job. Terrace, BC. Carol Fielding is the committee chair, and we're going to roam over to find out if Carol can hear me. Carol, it's Ron McLean, Hockey Night in Canada. Can you hear me? I can hear you, Ron. I can hear you. You must be over the moon. Congratulations. Uh, what are you feeling right now? Oh, yeah. It's, it's an incredible ride. It's, uh, what can I say? We're just so happy. This community has worked so hard for this. Oh, uh, bless your heart. Hey, who would you say are some of the folks that you would like? It's tough to mention names, but who are some of the key contributors or what was the key to your successful bid? I think our key was the community. The key was having everybody want this as bad as the next person. You know, I think it was about the neighbors. I think it was about the schools. So every... <laughs> Everyone just pitching in and making this happen, you know. It's truly not something that happens by one person or any couple of people. This community worked for this. This community deserves this. And we thank you, all of British Columbia and everybody that voted for us. Tara says thank you so much for this. Carol, I'll ask you to introduce the Mountie or have the Mountie introduce himself and present you with the trophy. Oh, Constable Jesse Schroeder. There you go, Ron. Did you hear that? I sure did. Constable Jesse Schroeder. Jesse Schroeder, Constable. Well, he has a very special cup for you there. And as you know, you also receive a preseason NHL game. And I know Terrace will be happy to hear the Vancouver Canucks have agreed to be part of it. So Vancouver, the uh, home province team, is going to arrive in Terrace and they'll face the New York Islanders. Islanders and Vancouver right. Canucks are playing in your town, plus $100,000 in arena upgrades from Kraft. And you have the beautiful trophy there. So congratulations, Terrace just shy of 2 million, Carol Fielding 
should be very proud of the effort that she and the committee put together. Craft Hockey Bill 2009, Terrace, BC. We'll stay in the Supernatural province. More of our coverage from GM Place on Hockey Night in Canada in a moment.